Hi, my name is Jennifer Tanay, and I am the Amesbury Middle School math coach. Today, I'm going to do my first video on ST Math for parents, and hopefully do a couple more to support you guys with ST Math um, at home. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today was the goals we have for ST Math each week per grade level. Um, and you might hear teachers talking to, about this with your child. So for K-1, to our goal is to get 60 minutes a week for those students. And that should get them about 25 to 65 puzzles. Now, you'll notice that there is a big range of puzzles for this. And that's because sometimes the puzzles are more or less difficult. So the range is there to tell you that sometimes they may get 25 one week, but other weeks, because the puzzles are a little bit more easy for them, they'll get to that 65. Now, for students in grades 2 to 8, we're looking for them to get in 90 minutes a week of ST math. And that will get them about 35 to 95 puzzles. Now, why these minutes so important is because there is research behind amount of these minutes and um, having students be more successful in math and learning conceptual understanding with these math standards. So there is a rhyme and reason why these minutes are here for the students. Now, as a parent, you might then ask, what can I do and how can I check this progress for my child? So when your child signs into SC Math, this is the screen that you're going to see. Up here in the top right, you'll see that this, this student has gone on for 63 minutes and has done eight puzzles this week. But if I want more details of what that child's doing, if I go to and touch his name, I then can go to progress. And I can see that this student has gone on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday so far this week. And again, has done 63 minutes and eight puzzles. Last week, I can see that this child has done 166 minutes and 114 puzzles. This student went on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And because it grayed out, I can see that Saturday and Sunday that this child did not go on. And I also can see what that student's average is of puzzles and minutes since they have started the school year um, using ST Math. So this is a really important place for you to go as a parent if you would like to see your student's progress on ST Math. Now, it's really important to also know that ST Math, if this child is going to different tabs, that ST Math will sign them out and they will not count those minutes. So this minutes is active playing time on ST Math. You'll also see on this screen that there is a house and there is a map. Now, if this house is not idle, meaning it's not like gray, it is white like it is right now, this means your child has assignments that your, the teacher has assigned to that child. And this is where they would like to go first. If this is not white and it is light gray, then the math is their journey. And it is ST Math has picked objectives of that grade level in what order they should be in. Normally, I know at least for the middle school, all the teach, a lot of the teachers are using these assignments. So this is where you really want to check first to see if this house is white and clickable to do to go on. So when I press on it, I will click on my classes. There's two, this child must have two teachers, but you would just click on the teach, most, most children will only have one teacher here and then click on the objective that they would like to work on. Click on the puzzle that they're on. And then you'll see Gigi rock it off. And then they'll get to the game. On the game, if you're watching your child on this game, the dashboard is also important to look at. You have two penguin GGs. That means they have two lives for that game. You'll see a progress bar here. So if I did this puzzle, so I see they're at one, two, three, four, and I see it's at one. I can see on my progress bar, That the white part is how far I've already gone in this level, and that dark blue part is how far I've gone in the past on this level. And then you'll also see these little dots. The dots tell you how many times your child has played this game. So the more dots, the more times they've played that game, and they might be getting frustrated if there's a lot of dots here. Um, the last thing I'll talk about today is signing out. If you would like your child to sign out, they hit their name, and they press sign out. And that's it. So hopefully your child is enjoying ST Math and hopefully this video was helpful to learning about how to check on their progress 
I will do other videos coming up in the coming weeks. If there's a topic that you would like to know more about or if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.